morning everyone um this is quite a quick video since i've just done one um but uh something happened to me this morning and i am five and a half years away from narcissist number two and uh, another wee bit of the fog lifted now uh the narcissistic fog or the fog lifting which are kind of like the same thing but at different times narcissistic fog is something that your brain does to protect you from this sh every shock and like weird thing and strange behaviour um, and stuff that jars with you, stuff that doesn't feel right, stuff that doesn't sound right. It just, it's basically the fog, is, it has a wee fight with your instincts, okay? It has a wee fight with your your um, your intellectual capacity. It has a fight with your um, your understanding of the world around you and your adoration with uh, your narcissist and what it does is the brain fog will will say to all of those different parts of your normal body that you would normally rely on in normal relationships non-abusive relationships normal circumstances where everybody is honest and authentic and telling the truth and behaving normally and everybody's healthy right is that the the, the brain fog kind of casts this sort of like it's like almost comforting and it is it's designed to comfort you it's, it's it is a useful thing it casts this sort of fog of like oh well I think about that later or that doesn't matter that's not even a thing don't be paranoid or oh but he said it's okay or well she said don't be silly so the fog the fog is a way to stop your brain constantly going what the fuck was that I don't know what that was that didn't feel right that was uncomfortable who's that uh right and then ruminating your anxiety because of course you always get anxiety when you're with a narcissist your anxiety picking that one strange little event, you know, like the way that that woman looked at you in the gym or the way that guy at the work, work, work uh, uh, Christmas party behaved towards you, whatever. Those little moments where you go, that's weird, right? So the brain fog stops you going, that's weird. It, the brain fog goes, that's not weird. Everything's fine. Everything's normal. Because you cannot, as a narcissistic abuse victim, of all the other abuses that you're going through, okay, everything else, okay, my book Dangerous Normal People has 112 abuses. Um, it, the brain fog is there just to, to calm you down, settle you down. It's some sort of chemical gets released. It's a bit like when you give birth, sorry guys, a bit like when you give birth and your body releases a chemical that almost immediately after it, you forget how bloody painful it was, right? It's something along those lines. And then you go, well, let's have another baby, <laughs> right? So um, the brain fog is like that. And after you leave your narcissist, it probably won't happen for a little while, um, about four or five, six weeks, the brain fog starts to lift. It's like the drugs leaving your system, okay? And the chemicals leaving your system because you're now in a safe place with safe people, hopefully. Um, and you're trying to pick apart what's happened to you and you're specifically actively digging deep to heal and to think and to work things out. And to and the cognitive dissonance, which is where you got, where things just didn't make sense and didn't fit, um, is starting to leave you as well. And the brain fog will lift, just bit by bit, bit by bit. And suddenly you'll go, I get it now. That's why he didn't want to take me home after dinner. That's why he drove my friend home. And that's why my friend stopped talking to me after it. Or that's what happened to that money. That 80 quid I had under my coffee table and suddenly he went in a bender about a week later and of course that's what that was and you get annoyed with yourself right because you think how the fuck did I not click this in the first place because the brain fog was protecting you you cannot live with that that rage and confusion and anger and um constant analysis of the little weird and horrible little things that go on you can't survive the brain fog has helped, has helped you survive and it's now releasing itself to let you now pick apart and work out what's been going on to you. So it's basically, I call it in my seven stage recovery pathway, I call it the pennies dropping, okay? And I've had one today, um, again, you know, like, so I used to go to sunbed, I still go, but you wouldn't know today. Um, and my narcissist loved a sunbed. He had one next to his flat. He lived about six miles away from me. I had one next to my flat. Lovely coincidence. And he'd been to the sunbed with me and there was quite an attractive girl behind the counter. Not that he ever cared if anyone was attractive, if he was just going to cheat on me with them, by the way. Different types of supplies also in my book, Dangerous Normal People, because they have ugly ones for behind the scenes and pretty ones for in front of the scenes. Uh, and that's also uh, counts for men as well. Um, so, uh, and he'd met her. Now, penny dropping, fog lifting, I felt 
I felt his interest just go like that. But at the time, the, 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 madly in love, didn't click. Fog. Yeah. So about a week later, I went, just by sheer coincidence, the universe was looking down on me and helping me because the universe helps you a lot. Okay. Get in touch with your universe when you're with an arc or when you're getting over it. So I went in. He happened to be there. Thank you, universe. Thank you. Um, and again, I was like, oh. Why are you here? Like, my flat's literally the next street. And they hadn't been to my flat. And they hadn't phoned me. And they hadn't said to me in there. And the girl behind the counter went, kind of pulled a, just the briefest funny face, right? And I think I knew her name. I can't remember what her name was. Let's call her Louise. My son bed was on Victoria Road. Okay. Um, I'm going to come to that bit. Um, let's call her Louise. Oh, hi, Louise. And she was like, oh, let's see. Um, and Keegan went, sorry. Well, I can say his second name. Anyway, and he's called Jonathan in um, Dangerous Normal People. He went in white when he saw me. So there was lots of little mm, 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 jarring moments. But the brain fog had me just like, everything's fine. Don't be paranoid. He'd never cheat on you. There's nothing going on here. This is normal. Right. Um, and he said something to her. He said, oh, you know, Lucy. Or there was something, something got said, which instigated her going, Oh yeah, we know each other. We tell each other everything. And that's how she said it. And that's how it came across. And I can remember, going, again, it jarred. And I'm like, that's weird. I went back to that sunbed. A couple of days later, she'd left. She didn't work there anymore. So again, six months after that, he'd been cheating on me again. It was multiple lassies. And he had a habit of keeping people on his phone using nicknames that would help him remember where he'd fucked them or where he had met them. So there was one called Health Suite because he'd had sex with a girl with one kidney uh, with uh, spinal difficulties in the health suite at his work at um, a local authority swimming pool. So she was called Health Suite Classy. And there was other ones. There was one called uh, the name of a hotel I paid to take him to. And then there was now Victoria. Yeah? You got it? The pennies drop and I'm five and a half years later and I still, I still, that particular event particularly still gives me more and more information. And each time you, you will revisit that and each time the fog lifts and each time the penny, another penny drops, I've got a whole purse now for that particular event, unloaded, Bitcoin. Um, I, I realise absolutely, because you doubt it, then the pennies drop and the fog lifts and you doubt it, you go, no, surely not. A couple of weeks later, fog lifts again, you go, I think so. Another couple of weeks pass, a couple of months pass, and you're like, I, that's, I'm not wrong. This is your body healing. This is the fog lifting. And the fog will take you back to these events to help you because you will never heal. You will never get closure. You will never get answers and you will never move on because your narcissist isn't going to fucking help you. These girls will disappear. These guys are going to disappear. All the people that he's used and abused you with are going to disappear because they're embarrassed, right? You're not going to get closure anywhere else apart from here, from you, from me. And the fog lifts to do that for you. So use it, but it's going to hurt. And it's going to upset you and it's going to freak you out and it's going to make you feel guilty and ashamed and embarrassed that you didn't listen um, and you didn't click at the time. Your body was protecting you. Trust your body. It's now helping you heal now. Okay.